Hello everybody, my name is Jar Red and welcome to Keyframes. Found this game on SGIO, literally the description says this is a proof of concept for a story driven one button puzzle game. That's it. So I'm really just going into this completely blind, not knowing if this game is even any good or not. So it, but I love little like enigmatic descriptions like that, different concepts that are very intriguing. And this sounded very intriguing. So I'm going to give this a shot. Let's just jump right in. Click. Levi, I knew California was hot, but I didn't know it was this hot. I can't believe I have to clean out the old man's house while everyone else is in the air-conditioned legal office. Bastards! You open the gate and walk to the patio. You read the doormat. Ah, yes, an old family saying. Sentaku shita opushan o juku suru niwan no rudu. Something or other Japanese I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Mom told me it means hold to execute selected option, tap to change selected option what that's an old family saying it sounds like video game instructions okay let's go go inside you enter the house and it's way hotter on the inside than it was on the outside damn it the air is thick and so dusty that you could almost shovel it oh lovely you had to croak in the summer huh ted i need to do something about this dust let's uh Plug in the fan or flip the light switch. Get rid of the dust, so let's plug in the fan and blow that dust to hell. Huh? The fan is already plugged in. You turn and look at the light switch. The tape label on the wall above it reads, living room and office power. Okay, we'll flip the switch then. Jeez. Oh, you flip the switch and the fan turns on. Woohoo! Huh? Oh dear. A TV in the corner of the room turns on with a familiar face on it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Jeez. That's kind of creepy. Look at the TV. Am I recording? Is this working? Yes, it is. Why, hello! If you're seeing this, then I'm dead. Tragic, I know. If you're not part of the family and are a grave robber, then beware of the deadly booby traps I've laid around every corner. However, if you're my next of kin, then I have a challenge for you. As you probably know, my will says to donate all my money to the Pacific Ocean, because <laughs> the Pacific Ocean needs all your money. I'm pretty sure it's good for the environment. Or something. Anyway, somewhere in this house is a second will that supersedes the current one. Believe you me, it's the best interest to find this if you want to keep that money dry. In order to obtain it, you must complete for me these challenges three. He holds a copy of Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. Only my offspring and their descendants would have what it takes to get through these challenges. After each challenge, you will get the location of the next challenge via a tape I left for you. Your first challenge, go to the office room and pick the lock. Well, good luck. Okay, well, let's... This is fucking crazy. Let's go to the office. Oh. Okay. You got this, Levi. You've played Oblivion. <laughs> You've played Thief and that. It's totally the same shit. You pick up the lockpick and a tension wrench up off the ground and insert it into the lock. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ! Fuck! Upon touching the doorknob, you were electrocuted. How wonderful. Thanks, Ted, you dick. You briefly lose consciousness and fall to the ground. The smell of burning hair hangs in the air. I think I found one of Ted's little presents. You collect yourself and get up off the ground. Well, I think we need to turn the power off or something. Let's go back to the living room. You walk back to the living room. What should I do? C call Ma. Ma! <laughs> flip the light switch. Turn the power off. You flip the switch and head to the office. Okay. You got this, Levi. You can pick locks in oblivion. How different can it be? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah. We are professional lock pickers. You push against the door and force it open. The office is as much a mess as the living room. A sea of papers covered in panicked blue prints, notes, and scribbles flow out of the now open door. Above the flood, a high continuous shelf runs along each wall. On the shelf sit various tools, contraptions, and books. 
Two islands stand above the tide. An old computer and a large safe. The key safe's keypad has a thick cord coming out of the side. The end of the cord is wrapped up on top of the safe. The old gray computer is taped on top of it. You swim and retrieve the tape. You walk back to the living room and put the tape into the TV. Well, let's flip that switch and play that damn tape. You flip the switch and the TV turns on. Aha! If you've gotten this far, you're either kin or an especially smart lockpick, or a person with a very high tolerance for electricity. Not that. You are two of those. I learned how to do that growing up in Hawaii. Back then, we didn't have much. Everything I had, I either built, stole, or worked for and earned myself. So I wanted to make sure it stayed mine. That neat little trick made me pretty useful in a war. Jerry-rigging, I mean. You know, I signed up right after Pearl Harbor. They put me on a boat back to Camp Savage. Learned a lot of good lessons there. Do you know what the most important one was? When someone says you have to make a choice, and they tell you that there's only two options, they're lying. <laughs> there I go, rambling again. Anyway, I'm still not entirely convinced that you're one of mine. In the office, there's an electrical cord with a modified surge protector coming out of the safe's keypad. There's also three outlets, each labeled with a place of origin. Connecting the cord to the correct outlet and entering the code will give you your next tape. Only the outlet labeled with our family's place of origin will power the keyboard. The other outlets will give you a shocking surprise. It may be shocking, but it will not be a surprise. Okay. Click. You head back to the office, taking special care not to touch a doorknob as you slide back in. Not this time, fucker. <laughs> you make your way to the safe and grab the cord. Now, where are we from? Um... Kojima? <laughs> you put the plug in the outlet. Oh, fuck me with a cactus! Your ears buzz, your eyes vibrate, and you can't tell and you can't tell if the smell of burning toast is coming from the outlet or you. Try again. Which one is it? Um, I don't know. Shanghai. Oh, fuck me with a cactus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where we're from. Okay, we're clearly from Maybashi. It's unpleasant, but not painful. The keypad lights up. What is the key code again? A date? Let's see, right after Pearl Harbor, let's say 1941. Plug in 1941, huh? The year you joined the army, you pick up the tape. <laughs> okay, back to the living room. Whoa. You plug in the tape, you put your hands on the stand of the TV, your grandfather's face appears on the screen. Ah, you've made it to the last challenge. The last one. Then you'll leave. Who are you? Are you my daughter? My son? My nosy fucking neighbor? <laughs> I have no control over who finds these tapes. I don't even know if anyone will find them. But I do know that you're the last challenge is, and you won't be completing it. That's just how it is. You have two options. Click or hold. And neither of them will get you that will. But you said if there's only two options, they're lying. Go ahead. Try. It'll never work. What were my options again? <laughs> I don't believe you. Is there something I can do by rocking? I feel like that tape on top of the tea. Aha! Aha! I knew it! A tape drops out of the bottom of the TV. You play the tape. Again, your grandfather appears on the screen. His posture is noticeably different. He seems even more collapsed than in the last tape. Well, you've done it. This is the last tape. You know, you really must be my child. You're a great deal like me, and that makes me worry. He stays quiet for a moment. I live my life acquiring wealth and pos- He cuts himself off. You are my child. You've proved that to me. One hundred thousand dollars are stored in a safe under the floorboards in the kitchen along the, with the will that gives it to you. It is yours and yours alone. What you do with it is up to you. Life is for the living, but- if you could hear a dead man's advice, do not be like me. I spent my life hoarding money to no end, and where did it get me? You can take the money off yourself or spread it around. It's up to you. Okay. Is that it? What if I want to share the money with people? What if I want to spend it? Is that it? I guess that's it. 
Well, there you have it, guys. That's keyframes. That was actually kind of cool. I, I I liked the story. I liked the the puzzles weren't very hard, but it was just kind of leading the plot on more than anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. Tell me what you guys thought in the comments down below. If you haven't already, share this video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting games like this. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon. I'll see you in the next video.